The state visit of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to the People's Republic of China will take place on January 3 to 5, 2023. The President will be joined by the First Lady, former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Speaker of the House of Representatives Martin Romualdez, Secretary of Foreign Affairs Enrique Manalo, the Secretary of Finance, the Secretary of Trade and Industry, the Secretary of Tourism, the Secretary of Information and Communications Technology, and other Cabinet Secretaries whose presence may be needed to sign bilateral agreements with their Chinese counterparts. The state visit is also expected to reaffirm the cordial and neighborly relations between the two countries, ensure continuity in many facets of the bilateral relationship, and, and chart new areas of engagement. It is also expected to build on the growing trade and investment ties between the two economies, as well as address security issues of mutual concern. These agreements represent cooperation in a broad range of areas, which include trade and investments, agriculture, renewable energy, infrastructure, development cooperation, people-to-people -people ties, and maritime security cooperation. As was mentioned earlier, China is a very important uh, economic partner of the Philippines. So uh, one of the main focuses of this visit is really to foster stronger economic cooperation. No? So we expect a big business delegation to join the, the president's delegation. And there will be a lot of business deals that will be signed. Um, well, we will leave, leave, leave that matter to the DTI not to explain further. And we don't want to preempt uh, the, the news about the total investment pledges that will be made. But there's a very strong expectation that, uh, you know, uh, there's great interest no, from Chinese investors in the Philippine economy, especially uh, in Philippine agriculture and renewable energy and uh, nickel processing. Uh, and also, uh, we expect a, an agreement on the importation of durian to be finalized, and uh, the Chinese market has a voracious appetite for durian. <laughs> so we expect uh, a lot of interest in our durian exports, and also possible investments in the durian uh, 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 producing regions in Mindanao. So you can call that some form of durian diplomacy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so.